welcome to our channel in this session we will discuss intermediate code generation so we already know we have a compiler what is the main task of compiler the compiler task is to convert the source program into mission program generally this is the task of compiler but in some situations it is not possible to convert the source program directly into mission program in a single pass so in that situation instead of directly converting the source into mission from the source program into an easy way of representing the source program that means intermediate language is generated from this intermediate language we are generating the mission program so what is the main advantage of this intermediate language this intermediate language leads to efficient code generation efficient code generation actually the intermediate language is generated like this in the simple sense we already know the concept of parsing that is the phases of compiler phases of compiler the phases of compiler is divided into two types one is the front end second one is the back end so what is the purpose of front end the front end translates the source program into an intermediate program the front end that is lexical analysis syntax analysis semantic analysis all these are front end the front end translates the source program into intermediate representation by taking this one the back end generates the target code back end generates the target code that means between the front end and back end the middle one the intermediate is the intermediate code simply what is the position assume here we have the parser so each and every time we are performing static checker that is to check the syntax mistakes now after completion of all these one now we are writing the intermediate code generator so this one this intermediate code generation this steps generates the intermediate code generates the intermediate code once the intermediate code is generated that is applied to our backend code generator and so on code generator and so on before this we have some phases after this we have some phases that is not required here this is generally the front end this is the back end the front end generates the intermediate code that is taken by the back end to generate the efficient code to generate the efficient code okay this is the way of intermediate now we will discuss some of the advantages or benefits of intermediate code some of the benefits of intermediate code remember generally the generated intermediate code is mission independent the generated intermediate code is the mission independent that means the code does not depends on any mission does not depends on any mission suppose based on this one observe the first point a compiler for different missions assume you have different set of missions we are generating one compiler a compiler for different missions can be created by attaching different backends suppose these are the backends for different missions we are attaching different backends to the existing front ends of each mission that means to connect different backends to different existing front ends we are using a compiler is created by using this intermediate exactly a compiler for 
different source languages are also created here it is in the form of back ends now the next point is in terms of front ends so different source languages are also created for different front ends corresponding to the source language to the existing back ends that is in this case the back ends are fixed different to front end we are creating different source languages but the compiler has to convert all the source languages into intermediate form depending to different backends okay now a mission independent code optimizer can be applied to the intermediate code what is the purpose of code optimizer so simply to reduce the unnecessary information present in the code in order to optimize code generation so to efficiently generate the code code optimizer is applied on intermediate code here what is the advantage this is also mission independent so the code optimizer is applied on any type of intermediate language so this is the what is intermediate code what are the benefits of using intermediate code in the next session we will discuss different types of intermediate code or intermediate languages thank you